hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm here with another glam look this one is very colorful but also very wearable i have seen this style of eyeshadow a lot on instagram and i have done one before probably like two years ago and i really like it i i, I think that's one of the looks that i'm most proud of that i've done but i, I only did one i don't know why i did just one but anyways since i have been seeing this style more often on instagram it inspired me to recreate that one look that i've done but just in a different style and if you're interested in seeing how i created this style of eyeshadow just keep on watching but let's pause it over here i wanted to stop to give a quick shout out to my number one fan here on youtube which is Marelli. thank you Marelli, for watching all my videos and also a shout out to matthew because you've been asking for it for the couple times that i've seen you shout out to matthew and shout out to marelli thank you guys for watching my videos but anyways moving on to the rest of you don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and without any further ado let's get to it okay so we begin for eyeshadow base i will be using my same old cover girl lid lock up and then i'm gonna apply that all over my eyelid Okay, since we're working around the area near the inner corner of the eye, I will take care of that area and I don't know why I can speak today. But what I'm trying to say is I'm gonna take care of that area so later on when I start adding that blue shade, I don't get it all over the place. And in case I get too close to the inner corner, it doesn't get stuck around this area right here. I'm gonna make sure I add a little bit of translucent powder and I apply it right in there. So I'm really careful to add it just in that area because as you can see on this side, I do add blue specifically close to the inner corner and that's part of the look, but because I don't want it to get too close to this area right here where i already have like a dark circle right there i'm gonna make sure i apply a little bit of translucent powder so in case if it falls right there it won't get stuck there okay so for the eyeshadow i'm just gonna be using this palette from essence this one's the ice eyes baby well as you can see it's the blue palette it's all blues and silvers if i can open it so I'm going to do use these. I mostly use just these colors, the blue and the, the very light silver right here. But we'll see at the end of the video if I will be adding any of the other colors. Okay, so starting with this blue right here, the darkest blue, which is called the, which is called the Collaborate and Listen. We're going to apply that. We're going to use a Morphe M431, which is just a small bullet brush. And I'm going to very lightly start just in this area right here. So I will very lightly start adding that blue little by little and at the same time forming that shape that I want in the cut crease. And because we do have a slight cut crease, um, I just try to make sure I kind of follow the line as I would cut the cut crease. That way, it's a lot easier once to cut the cut crease and i don't have to remove any product so i practically just outline with the blue and then once i outline i start blending out upwards little by little i also make sure that the edges the end and the inner um end are a little bit lighter than the center of the than the center of the area where i do add the blue okay so now i grab a um a small blending brush which is this one a morphe m507 i like this one because it has a really pointy tail right here i'm gonna add that same blue that i was just using tap out the excess and slightly blend it upwards as well Okay, now that we had added and slightly blended that dark blue, we're gonna go ahead and add that lightest blue right here. This one is a VIP shade. And now I'm gonna blend out the edges of the darker blue. Okay, now I go back with Collaborate and Listen and I sharpen up the area where the cut crease is going to be. Now that we did that, we're gonna go ahead and move on to VIP and very lightly and carefully blend the darkest shade. Okay. 
Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the cut crease. For the cut crease, I'm gonna be using the Pilates eyeshadow base, and I'm not gonna use a lot of this. I'm just gonna use a tiny bit. You guys see this? This is just that's all the amount I'm gonna be using. I am practically just using it to cut the crease, and that's it. And I'm just gonna be using a flat brush, just like this one. This one is the one from AliExpress, same one, and I feel like it's the best one I got, honestly. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease. I will explain as I go, but I'm gonna do it this fast forward because I do take some time on this one since I do like my cut crease really sharp. Okay, so I just did the cut crease, but I'm not really liking the shape of this eye over here. So I'm gonna try to fix. I just don't like, I just don't like that in this area, it looks kind of thinner and this one looks kind of rounder. So I'm gonna try to fix up with the blue eyeshadow once I'm done with the cut crease. But for now, we just spread all the eyeshadow base that we just put on our eyelid. We're just gonna spread it out. Try to just stay within that area where we added it. I'm gonna go ahead and go back with the blue and try to fix this area but but I'm gonna be using a angled eyeshadow brush which is what I typically use to carve out the cut crease with a darker shade okay so the third shade i'm going to be using from this little palette it's going to be this shade right here which is this really shimmery silver and it's called all glow all glow yeah all i will glow all glow all glow i keep showing you guys the colors and then closing it and putting it away when i need it <laughs> seriously what are you guys doing so i'm going to be using i just told you what i'm going to be using and to apply that i will be using a morphe m213 as always i use these to apply whatever color i will be using on the cut crease Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and carve out, as I told you before that I typically do use this brush for, I will use it to use the darkest shade and carve out the cut crease even more. Okay, now I'm gonna go back with a bullet brush and I'm gonna add a little bit more blue because I see we have a little bit more of a blend on this area and this one seems to be a little bit thinner and longer. So I'm gonna try to match it up a little bit. Now I'm going with a small blending brush. And I'm going with VIP, same brush. So I'm really not liking how this one is a little bit farther. I keep looking at the clothes mirror and when I do that, I tend to change it a little bit and not noticing because I'm not looking at it from far away. So what I'm gonna be doing right now, I'm gonna fast forward it for you guys, but I'm gonna be trying to fix it and then I'll be back and continue once I feel like it's a little bit closer to this eye, okay? Okay, so I fixed it a little bit. I don't want to continue um, messing it up. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the wing shadow. And then as we keep going, then we'll keep changing to make it look a little bit similar. Okay, to apply that shadow and start the wing, I'm going to be using the same shade, which is collaborate and listen. I'm going to grab an angled brush. This one's just a big angled brush, nothing special. And then I'm just going to do the wing.
Okay, so we just marked the wing, but before we continue, let me just spread out that shimmer shade that we have on the lid. That way we can start blending out our wing shade as well. Okay, so we kind of spread it. Okay, so we kind of spread it out. Spread it out. Spread it out. But I didn't get too close to where the wing is going to be because I want those blues to kind of marry and kind of blend with that shimmer. Not all the way, just a point where they meet, but then they don't get married because they just meet. Now I'm thinking about meat. <sighs> anyway, let's continue with that blue and the same angled brush again. So now I'm just going to use the same bullet brush I was using with that same blue again. And I kind of blend those blues edges. So I can go ahead and move on with the lightest shade of blue and blend it a little bit more towards that shimmer. Okay, so now we move on. Before we completely finish the wing, we're going to go ahead and add some black eyeliner and kind of pull it upwards towards the wing using my favorite eyeliner brush. Okay, so now that we did the eyeliner, we go ahead and use a black eyeshadow. This one's just a black matte eyeshadow. This is the one that I have from Ulta. It's just Ulta Beauty Black Matte Eyeshadow. I will be using a Morphe M213, which is this tiny, tiny eyeshadow brush. And then we go over that black eyeliner and then start blending out a little by little. We don't blend it out too much because we want the blue to be the main color. So I just want like a seamless blend between the black and the blue. Okay, so now we're gonna add a little bit more blue to blend it out a little bit more and it shows through a little bit more. I'm gonna be using a Morphe M562, which is a blending brush, but it's a really, really like soft blending brush. Okay, now I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and then add some mascara. Okay, so now we can move on to the rest of the face. Okay, now since we are moving on to the rest of the face, I just apply the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh all over my face. I thought the camera was recording, but it wasn't. So I'm just letting you know that's what I just added to my face. Um, now I'm going to move on to covering those pores. For that, I'm going to be using the Putty Primer by e.l.f. Just apply it a little bit on my nail. Okay, I applied that poreless putty primer all over the areas where I get lines or pores showing through. Now I'm going to use a corrector. I don't think I can go without this anymore. So I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal and High Definition Concealer. This is the peach corrector. And I apply it all over the areas where I have dark circles or darker pigmentation, which is underneath the inner corners of my eyes, around my nose, and around my mouth, and, and towards my jawline. To blend that out i'm going to be using a big blending brush i believe this is an eyeshadow brush but it's pretty big so i'm going to be using it for underneath my eyes and since we're at it i'm going to be using it for all the areas where i did apply that corrector Okay, so for foundation, I will be using the Super Stay Active Wear by Maybelline. This is the 30 hour wear. I'm gonna apply it to the top of my hand because I cannot find my little dishes. I'm just gonna apply it directly to the sponge and then apply it to my face. Thank you. 
I know it looks pretty light on the camera, but in person, it's not as light. I hope you guys understand. Okay, so for concealer, I will be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And I do blend and I do blend it as I add it because I had some trouble with this foundation before. I was not sure whether it was the whether it was the primer, the foundation, or concealer. So right now I'm just playing it safe. I believe in conclusion, with all the times that I've tried it, I believe it was a primer, but I don't want to risk it right now. So that's why I'm just adding it and blending it, adding it and blending it as I go. Oh wow, this my this foundation makes me look so white. It's not as white, I promise. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add that. I did add a little bit in the inner corners, but for that I need to blend it out with an eyeshadow blending brush. So I went so I went ahead and did that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the forehead and the nose. I went a little bit sideways right here, but I'm supposed to blend it in the center. Now I apply it to the sides of the nose and blend it out. And lastly, we apply it around the mouth and blend it out. Okay, to set my under okay to set underneath my eyes, I will be using the Ultra HD Setting Powder by Makeup Forever, and to apply that, I will be using a Morphe E48. I first make sure I blend out any creases with a sponge first, and then right after that, I do apply the setting powder with a brush. Tapping motions only, by the way. Once I'm done with the under eye, I go ahead and start setting the nose and the areas where I do get oily with the same brush. Now that I did that, I'm gonna go ahead and move on with a bigger brush and I'm just gonna add any leftover setting powder on the brush. Tap out the excess. <coughs> Don't eat it. <laughs> now we go ahead and add whatever is left on the brush all over my face very gently and lightly. I don't want too much powder. That's why I did take out the excess as much as I could and whatever is left, we add it to the rest of the face. Okay, now we can move on to contouring. For contouring, I will be using the same palette again. I will be using the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. And I'll be using this shade right here, which is the one that I typically use because I feel like it's the one that matches my skin tone a little bit better. I kind of stick to those that I find work out the best. So I start with underneath my cheekbone and slightly blend it, just keep it in that area. And then from there, I start running it up towards the hairline. Then after I finish with the hairline, I go ahead and move on to the double chin. Remember, try to stay underneath right on the double chin. Do not pull it up to Towards the jawline just stay as close as you can towards the jawline but do not get on the jawline okay so to blend it out I will be using the bronzer uh, the bronzer that I will be using will be the CD bronzer by Maybelline this one's in the shade 200 because I can see the name well I'm gonna be using a big blending brush and start blending all those areas where I did add the contour with the bronzer on the jawline. I do go right a little bit, a tiny bit over the jawline. Not too much, but I do go over the jawline. Okay, I'm gonna go back with the contour because I did forget about the nose. And I'm gonna be using the brush that I typically use to contour my nose. It's a blending brush, but it's just flat. But it's kind of fluffy if you look at it. I tap out the excess and I just contour the tip of my nose practically. Now, this is what works for me, but depending on the shape of your nose, whatever you want to look slimmer, you just contour around it and form the areas or the edges, however thinner or larger you want them. For me, I just my nose is what i i mean i like my nose i like the size of my nose i just would like the tip of it to be a little bit more symmetrical because it's a little bit round and i don't really like that so what i do is i do 
add a little bit of shadow on each side and make it look less round since my nose is already thin on that area i don't add anything there because then it would be emphasizing that natural shadow that, that i already have so i just stick to the tip of my nose blend it out and i'm done with my nose you just gotta find whatever works out best for the shape of your nose okay moving on to blush for blush i will be using this palette that i have right here this one is called i don't know how to say that name if you guys know how to say it just tell me in the comments please <laughs> just this palette this is a blush palette and i will be using it has a bunch of colors in there i could just uh, stroll around and get one color but this time i want to try just this color right here i'm just gonna apply it to the top part on my cheeks this is just a blush brush from avon i have a lot of brushes that i don't even remember when i got them honestly Ooh, some color to my face I feel like it's a little bit too emphasized so i'm gonna slightly blend it out with the bronzer well not so slightly it doesn't look like it's very slight okay since i feel like my eyes are already getting a lot of attention i'm gonna try to keep the highlights very subtle so i'm gonna be using the essence pure nude and the shade 10 which is be my highlight and i'm just going to use a regular highlight brush pack it on and then just apply it on the areas where i would like to highlight which is the top of my cheeks tip of my nose between nose bridge around my lips and a little bit of my chin okay so i feel happy with the highlight now i'm gonna go ahead and finish one eye and then i'll be right back to show you the process no no who's there okay so i'm back and now let's start with the blue eyeshadow for the under eye so i'm gonna start with collaborate and listen and then i'm grabbing a really small brush it's a morphe m213 which is those tiny eyeshadow brushes that i use and then i'm gonna stay right on the lower lash line Okay, now that I added that, I'm going to go ahead and add this shade right here in the center, which is called Rock a Mick, like a mic mic. I don't, and I'm going to apply that right on the lash line, just getting closer to the tear duct. Okay, now we go back with the black eyeshadow from Ulta, and we're going to do the same thing we did with the blue. I'm going to go ahead and add it right on the lower lash line and not blend it. I'm just going to leave it there so I can go blend it with the dark blue later. Okay, now I go back with an eyeshadow blending brush. Actually, it doesn't say what it is, but it's just a flat, fluffy tip brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and add Collaborate and Listen, and I'll try to stay right within the area where I added the black. Now that I added that blue, I go back with the VIP, and I start blending it a little less careful, but I still try to stay within that area. I don't try to pull the blend down. I typically do that with a lot of eyeshadow looks, but with this one, I want to stay really close to the lower lash line. Okay, now I'll go back and add that really dark shimmer right here, and I apply it back to where I did add it before. For the inner corner, I'm just going to add the same shade I did add to the lid. I'm just going to blend it out a little bit more on the inner corner. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add some mascara to the lower lash line. And for that, I will be using the Lash Sensational Sky High by Maybelline. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and add some lashes and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with the eyes done and now I'm going to go ahead and do the lips. So for those, I do want to stay neutral because I do feel like the eyes already call a lot of attention. Not because it's too colorful. I don't feel like it's that colorful. I guess it's just the style of it that I feel like it really calls a lot of attention and I do want it to be the center of attention. So I'm going to try to keep the lips neutral. So for the lips, I will be using the NYX Retractable Lip Liner and the shade Sam and beige. Okay, and to top that off, I will be using the NYX Filler Instinct. This is a, it's just a gloss. I don't want to add more color. I just want to add a gloss. And this one has a little bit of shimmer, which I don't think it really shows through, which a... 
really shows through. I'm not sure if I like this. Okay, so because I didn't really like how pink it looks, I will add a little bit of Maybelline Super State Matte Ink. This one is a this one is a really warm tone, so I'm gonna try to even it out since I already added the lip gloss. Okay, so I really like it this way. I feel like it looks a little bit more neutral to me, at least to my skin tone. And the fact that I added the lip gloss helped me mix those two formulas together, the lip liner and the liquid lipstick. So I did like how it came out. The glitter did not show through because it was all mixed in, in between all those formulas, which is fine because I didn't, like I said, I didn't want the lips to call too much attention because I do want the eyes to be the center of attention. Okay, so now that we're done with the rest of the face, I'm gonna go ahead and add some spray, the same spray that I used at the beginning, and then I'll come back with everything done. Okay guys, so this is the whole look complete. Let me know what you guys think about it. I really like it. I feel like it can make a really colorful eyeshadow look be a little bit more wearable just because it's not all over the eyelid, but it does have a pop of color and I really like it. I hope to make more looks like this with different color combinations. But anyways guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also find me on Instagram as Aredi Savala and hopefully I will see you on my next video. Bye.